Hi. Yo, sup? Welcome back to my channel. Yes, this video is my random footage across the three days if you're interested. So I was in Barcelona just exactly one year ago. I was visiting one of my high school best friends. So the first day we went to this place called La Roca Village. I had heard it is an outlet with really cheap prices comparing to other outlets in Europe. I really like the colorful architecture in Spain in general and they just give us so much life. The architecture of this place is an interpretation of a traditional turn of the century Catalan town, which is complete with detailing inspired by the historical buildings in the region. And I kept seeing these lizards everywhere and I just wonder if they have a symbolic meaning or if anyone knows, please tell me. We were window shopping mostly and looking around the shops here and there. The architecture was just really nice looking. I feel like I could just stay there and look at the architecture the whole day. It was a relaxing day in general. And then there comes the second day. We took this train with my friends and we went to this place called Stitches, which is a small town that is in the southwest of Barcelona. We arrived there and the weather was pretty hot. So my friend and I stayed there melting away together while waiting for the others to find a direction for us. Yep, we were the ultimate free riders. We walk and walk and walk and we found this place. I think it's really near to the beach. It was kind of calm that day. Maybe it was because it was a weekday and I saw people with beach wear everywhere so we are assuming that we are close. And now we finally arrived at the beach. Quite packed with people that day. And it was my poor attempt to do an introduction for the place and I felt miserably so I'm just gonna voice over it pretending it never happened. I'm just gonna keep the footage because it was just so funny. I was probably trying to showcase all the places and huge applaud to my friend who is trying to take the pictures and videos for me for this footage. It was such a nice sea here and it was like shimmering under the sunlight. And this is my poor attempt to take nice pictures. Oh, it happens all the time. And then we saw this bride running away. I couldn't help but starting to imagine what happened again. And the architecture is so pretty here. I like. I really like the light color scheme in this town with occasionally some blue sticking out. This place is definitely a great choice for short trips. Reminds me of how we used to go to Changzhou in Hong Kong but this is just slightly better with comparatively less people. My friend told me that the cake is called coca and the other meaning is actually cocaine. Nice. She told me that at the dust on June 24, families usually eat this coca cake which is a sweet version of East bread that features lemon seeds, pastry cream and also pine nuts. The day is also a holiday to celebrate the summer solstice which is the shortest night of the year and the beginning of summer as well. We kept wandering around and I wonder what these stripes are. And look at how empty the place actually was. There were so many people at the beach but here it was so quiet. We finally chose the restaurant we had lunch at and it wasn't very crowded so it was good for sitting down and chat. There were two floors and we followed the waiter and sit at the ground floor. I like how they used the natural light for making the restaurant more bright instead of using a lot of light. And here comes our food. Look at how big the portion of paella is. Obsessed with the seafood and paella in Spain. And for a paella this big in Hong Kong is gonna cost a lot of money, but here it's just so cheap. And then it was lunch set, so it was even cheaper. I absolutely loved that. And the last stop we went to is the beach to chill at the late afternoon. And my friend here, she actually remembers to bring the top part of her swimming suit, but not the bottom part. Seems like she wasn't planning to swim today. I guess that's just her usual practice. Really enjoy moments like this where you can just reconnect with your old friends because they have moved away to other countries when they live across the globe is even harder so moments like this i really cherish because you never know when would be the next time you see them again it could be this year next year the next 10 years you just never know chill day and then we were just lying down some bathing and swimming not really but just chilling in the water you know the usual practice it was nice lying around and looking at people observing what they are doing is something so fun and look at the sand how soft and smooth it is. It's really nice. I enjoyed my day. And now we headed back home on the sun setting. We all had a good day and then we were so tired on our way back to Barcelona. Oh, and that's the cat from my friend's house. It was such a baby. It's usually very sweet until it decides to bite your toe off. I just love this toxic relationship. Hooray! I mean, look at him. How are you supposed to get mad at this baby? He looks so innocent and even though he's so aggressive sometimes, I'm sure he still has the best intention. Just look at him. Just look at him. See, that's just how furry and cute he is. And he's occasionally friendly as well.
what a cutie. And then he bite me. And there came the third day. We went to visit the National Art Museum of Catalonia. It was cloudy and hot that day, so it was perfect to visit a museum with air con in. It was really big and I was wearing heels. When I got out, I couldn't really feel my feet anymore, but it was happy pain, I guess, so I didn't really complain. The combination of art and pain is something beautiful, I guess. There were so many moments where I just want to end the vlog and enjoy the moment with my friends, but at the same time, I just want to have this memory stored in my YouTube channel so someday I could just look back and look at it. It would be a great reminder of the youth that you actually had in your 20s. And look at how beautiful the flowers is actually in this place. I saw people and influencers taking pictures here with their fence. I bet the result looked gorgeous. And here is the inside of the museum. It is quite big and there are four sections in total as I remembered. So there are, are like four different exhibition sections if I didn't remember it wrong. It's nice that we had the escalator back down so I don't have to stay tortured by my heels. And then we went to another place, which is actually a hotel, and I assume this place is like a hotel bar in Barcelona, right across the cathedral. We were not very sure how to get up, so we were just waiting at the reception and asking around, asking the people how we should just get up to the hotel, or is there somewhere else that we should go to, a back door. Then we went to a rooftop bar to chill for a while. Afterwards, they have got three floors in this bar and if I didn't remember incorrectly, I think it was a hotel bar. We just found a place to sit in, but we were kind of disappointed by the billboard on the Cathedral of Barcelona. I mean, who would put an ad on a cathedral? I really wonder how people, the local people feel about this ad holding so much space on a cathedral. It must be such a visual pollution to them. My friend, she just didn't like it. It was her first time seeing the ad from the cathedral on the rooftop and then she had been busy texting her family about it and telling them that that's really just bad. I sincerely hope that they get it removed soon. Later today, I heard that they actually got it removed so I'm happy for them. But at the end, we changed another place to sit in. And here we were enjoying our drinks. It was nicer to sit outside somewhere more open. And we had been taking photos. So hard to not capture the Samsung ad on the cathedral when we were taking pictures and we failed every single time. I bet that would be the worst nightmare of any influencer. Now we have a clearer view of the cathedral with the Samsung ad. Yay! Oh, and this is the pizza for my last dinner before leaving. So that's it. Bye!